Hello, this is Dr. Amin Marashi, retina specialist from Aleppo, Syria. This course is about clinical changes in RPE. This presentation is about a case report series, part three. A 63 years old lady, fake it, her best corrected visual acuity in her right eye is 2025 and in her left eye is 2035, complains from a reduction of central vision in her left eye. Fantis exam shows subretinal fluid in her left eye. The Fantis examination shows granular RPE changes along with subretinal fluid and pigment epithelial detachment. OCT scan shows central subretinal fluid with pigment epithelial detachment and granular RPE changes along with elongation of photoreceptor cells and increased thickness of choroid and diametric of halos. Fluorescein angiogram in early phase shows hyperfluorescence from granular RPE changes which increase and become more prominent in a mid phase with hyperfluorescence from PED where in late phase shows granular hyperfluorescence sub RPE and sub retinal dipunk. The diagnosis is chronic central serous retinopathy. The, this patient managed with oral spiralectone 25 mg a day and rifampicin 300 mg a day. In addition to subthreshold laser, the rationale between, behind combining the treatment is due to the exact mechanism is unknown behind old fake girl. Best corrected visual acuity in her right eye is hand motion and 2040 in her left eye complains from reduction of central vision in both eyes. Vanda's exam shows golden sheen of the macula with diffuse RP atrophy and pigmentary changes at the periphery. OCT scan shows diffuse ellipsoid zone disruption and RPE atrophy inducing increased reflectivity of the choroid. Although fovea appears within normal contours, the boundaries between retinal layers are not clear. This is a case, an example of RPE atrophy due to conroid dystrophy. This patient has bad best corrected visual acuity of hand motion due to cone road dystrophy, which can be autosomal recessive dominant or X-linked disease, which they usually suffer from dyschromatopsia and photophobia. In late stage, cone road dystrophy can cause legal blindness. By that, we reach the end of this course of clinical changes in RPE, which discussed mainly RPE changes in EMD and most common macular diseases. I hope you find this course beneficial in your clinical practice. Thank you for listening.